56. Yeah. 56. You are 56 days in. And you've got 18 days to go. All right? So we can still make mega massive change in 18 days. And listen, if you don't already know, we're I've asked you guys to add in an extra weight training workout per week. So add in an extra weight training workout per week for the next 18 days, okay? Add in three more workouts, essentially, from now till the end. That's what I want you to do, okay? All right. Listen, people have been asking me about processed food. Is it good? Is it bad? Well, they actually didn't ask me if it's good. They asked me, you know, how bad is it? Okay, and I wanna, I wanna stress something. Not all processed food is bad. Okay, so let's ask ourselves, what does processed mean? What does it mean? It means it's gone through some sort of change at the hands of man, right? It's gone through some sort of change at our hands. But that doesn't mean it's bad, okay? Typically, where processed food gets a bad name is in either it's had um, nutrients extracted from it, okay, or removed from it, and or it's had some additives put into it that are harmful, okay? And it's possible that through its cooking mechanism, it lost nutrients as well, okay? So that's basically processing, but it doesn't mean, doesn't mean it's bad, all right? You can make something in the kitchen, put all the ingredients together, cook it in the oven, and it's probably gonna be absolutely no different than if you ate all those individual raw ingredients by themselves. Okay, so processing doesn't mean it's bad. All right, the ISO bars that I recommended. Off the top of my head, there's nothing about it. It's gone through a processing mechanism. There's nothing about it that makes that bar any worse than if you took all those ingredients and you ate them individually by themselves. Okay, so processing isn't always bad. Yeah, a lot of the time it's bad. Or it's, I don't want to say it's bad or good, but it's, you know, it's not as good. Okay, but it's not always the case. All right, so we hear these terms. I want you to think about them before you just accept them. All right, okay, listen, people are still asking me about fat burners. So here's my suggestion. They're, you're asking me, or some of you are asking me, what do I suggest? Here's what I suggest. If you want to take one, start it right away. Take um, uh, heat accelerated, so magnum heat accelerated and take carnadium, take those two together. Now, if you wanna take a, a nighttime fat burner too, you can take afterburner at night, okay? But as a starting point, I'm gonna recommend heat and carnadium, stack those together, okay? Start it soon because like it's, it's becoming, like we're getting down to the nitty gritty here, okay? All right, message of the day. Nothing beats consistency, nothing. And in fact, when it comes to diet, you have to be consistent. Okay, you have to be consistent. If you're ping-ponging around, you don't know where you stand, then you certainly don't know where to go. Okay? You have to know where you stand in order to know where you're gonna, where you're gonna go. All right, we're trying to get from point A to point B. That's what we're doing in this challenge. If you've been ping-ponging around, then I don't know where you stand. And if I don't know where you stand, I don't know where to take you. Okay, this is why I always say, get back on those numbers, follow those numbers, then we can see what happens, and then we can make a change from there, okay? So you've got to follow a standard, a benchmark. Follow that benchmark, see how you respond. And I'm kind of going with this as we approach the end of the challenge when you guys are off on your own. Find out where you stand see where you're at and what you like, and then make a small modification from there. Now, obviously, we'll talk more about that in detail as we trudge forward towards the end, okay? All right, so nothing beats consistency. It's a must, especially when it comes to diet, all right? Okay, you've got 18 days. Make mega massive change. Make mega massive change. Submit, commit, 18 days, 18 days. Go hard, as hard as you have ever in the last number of days that this challenge has been on, okay? Go as hard as possible. Make mega massive change. You can do it, especially with your diet parameters and the fact that I'm asking you to weight train one more day a week. Okay, let's go extra hard and let's make a good finish. 
Okay, don't look at the past. Let's just go forward. Don't look at the past. Go forward. There's no point looking at that past. Past is past. It's done. Let's go forward. Positive attitude. You can do this, all right?